Suckers grow in large numbers around the plant base. If they are not controlled, the wastage of nutrients affects the yield. Allow only one sword sucker to grow on the opposite side of the bunch, where the flower bunch comes out. But in this kind of high-density plantations, suckers are allowed only after the harvest of the crop. Otherwise, the thick shade will not allow the sucker to grow healthy. Control the sucker from time to time. It is major management work in banana plantations. Cut the sucker with a sickle and damage the remaining base with a stick. Even few drops of kerosene on the cut part can control the growth effectively. In case of the tall varieties, the plant needs staking to avoid breaking of the stem. Bamboo support is common but costly. Most of these sticks are not useful for the second crop. The G name crop with wide spacing also needs staking. In high density planting, synthetic packing tapes are tied to a peg like this on the opposite side of the bunch. This works out very cheap. In mixed plantations, this kind of support with fiber is sufficient. Traditionally, replanting of banana is not in practice. It continues its generation with suckers. But in commercial plantations, having control on the plant population is necessary. Three to five ratoon crops are possible in healthy and well-maintained plantations. Do not fell the mother plant after the harvest of the bunch. Chaff the leaves and retain the pseudo stem. Reabsorption of nutrients takes place from this stem, which helps for the growth of the sucker. Few farmers allow one sucker once in three to four months to harvest two to three crops in a year. This is advisable only in wider spacing. Even then, the average weight of the bunch drops. Hence, one crop per year is the best practice.